greetings today we're looking for how to install plugins so we are still under the past two android uh then the past two android last time we we're looking for how to create database how to import files we also look into how to input passwords and also how to create files and folders then today we are going to look into how to install plugins there are so that there are so many plugins that we can use to manage our database like we have qr plugins that one it displays password entry as qr code so that means that with this also we can even use it to scan codes we also have keyboard swap plugins with this one we can also use it to switch automatically inputs and we also have auto fill plugins with this one we will not be we, we will not write into forms manually rather it will auto fill our forms instead of writing username password and other details we have a way to auto fill those spaces we have also input stick plugins this one is when you have a system it allows to send test from your keepers to android then through your input stick to your personal computer so we have also usb keyboard then what can you do with your usb the keyboard with that one it can allow you to send test from your keepers to android also to your computer directly so you can see that all these plugins are very important so how can we make use of them we install them how we let's open our keepers to android then we also recall the database we are using here so we are going to we are we so as we click on our database it now opens we now have to put in our password we put in our password and click on unlock as we click on unlock so we have it here now so what are we going to do we have to click on this uh main menu so we click on main menu and it opens we have to again click on settings so as we now click on settings then we have we can see it we have here the plugins so what i'm going to do we click on the plugins we are going to click plugins now we can see that we have no not even a single plugin so everywhere is just empty so what are we going to do we click on find plugins online so it is better for you to go through this way in order to give you the actual plugins you are looking for instead of trying to install from some third party you don't know of so you click on here you can open with any browser let's open with our opera you click on open so it will all so now it now takes us to the uh gig the github of it so we can see the plugins are available so okay so let's how can we install them let's pick some maybe one two or three let's install there we see uh, qr plugins so we click on you can see the link of it so we click on the link immediately we click on the link you can see it will open what it what will it open it now open your google play you click on install so once you click on install so and click on accept it will start installing the uh, downloading the plugin so you can see so the plugin is downloading so that is that so after downloading now is now say open if you click on open you can see so this, this is what we have we have select 
entry to show as QR, scan QR code from other devices. Then you can see here, this thing is not enabled. So not enabled as plugin in host app. So we have to we have to first enable it by clicking on enable. So we click on enable as plugins. So you can see once you click on enable, you click on accept. So we accept it. Click on accept. So we now have we can we now have enabled as plugins. So you can see it's very simple. We already have the we now have the plugins. So we can scan QR code from other devices by clicking on here. Other things by clicking on the surface. Let's see. Uh, let me get uh, a new paper. I don't have a code here, but when you click on this scan QR code, you can see it will it, assume there's a code, it will start to scan it. It will start to scan it. Okay, let's go back. Then assume you want to select entry to show as code, you use this. We are talking about how to install as a Q how to install plugins so we have installed that one then look at it we have it here so can, let's install another plugin so we click on find plugin again we click on uh, any browser it will open so what else then we wait okay this is keyboard swap plugins allows to switch input Method automatically auto fill. Uh, let's maybe we pick. Let's pick auto fill. We pick this. Then it will still go the same process. So we click on it. Okay, now it will. You can see this is now. Where we say if you want to continue using this feature, please install accessibility. So now they say as of December 2017, Google does not accept the use of accessibility service for anything except helping people with disabilities. This means that Keepers to Android can no longer provide the accessibility service based out of your features. Otherwise, Google will remove Keepers 2 from Play Store. If you want to continue using this feature, you have to first store accessibility. So you can see, before you can install that one, you will first store accessibility service based on auto field programs. So we click on, we click on it. So then we have this. Which one are we looking for? So uh, we have to, uh, we have 1.03. Okay, so we can click on it. Click on KP2A plugin dot APK. You know, you, you, you Android, you can install the APK after the download by looking where the download is and install it immediately. So let's see. So you can see you can get it from your okay so you can see it comes out we have to save it as we have to click on save we click on save it is downloading automatically you can see our download so it is just this so i think uh our download is done so so clicking on here it can open what you have to do is you go where the file is saved so you go where the file is saved you have to know where your file is downloaded so you have to go where the file is saved maybe you look for your download so to get where the file is saved so let, let's see uh, okay then look at it here look at where the we have the download plugin so we have to click on it 
we have to click on install now then it now start installing so you can see two different ways of installing plugins some can install automatically from your store some um, may not be installed automatically after installation you have to click on the list so that the this file will be removed if you say no the file will be will still be there but it is always okay to delete the stored uh file so we click on yes so now this is we now say done okay so i think it is done let's go back to our let's go back to our uh keep us to android to know whether the file you can see we have it now installed but now there is an issue issue that it is disabled so we have to enable this plugin by clicking on it then we tap on enable so that we can enable the plugin so we we go back we can see we have the plugin enabled so automatically we have two plugins installed which is qr plugin and auto field plugins so um in our next tutorial we will by then i will have more plugins here and we're now looking to each plugins and how they what their function is how they perform and also so many other uses or advanced uses of keepers to android so thank you very much i love you